I might have to raise it up a little bit. Okay, we're back to reviewing some cars here. And you can't actually see this, but uh, I put for the trim level name Mission from God. Engine is a 440, uh, is a cop motor 440 cubic kitch plant, and uh, the variant is fixed to cigarette lighter. Uh, what I'm reviewing is a car that I replica that I made, the Blues one build it, which is a 1974 Dodge Monaco. It's an old prospect uh, state police car. Uh, that's the phone number right there. It's got the P1 badge on there. Now, on a real car, there's a star here, or a badge with a star, but I couldn't replicate that. I got the server and protect right there. Missing uh, mirror right here, like on the car. Yeah, it came pretty close to front end there. Now the back is real messy because the lines don't meet up, but I know that the, the tail lights are kind of integrated into the rear bumper. And it's got these little three individual lights right here. It, it's kind of messy, but I did best I could. I got a, got a little strip right there, like like what's on the bumper of that car. Um, but the most important thing about this car is. Like what's on the real car, the D is missing on Dodge. Alright, so let's go over, over the actual build of it. I'm not sure exactly how it was built, but I just guessed at it, you know. Uh, steel, ladder, steel, front longitudinal, double wishbone front. Probably, it really probably had like a uh, coils on the front, solid axle coils, but when you do it on this game it just raises the right height, you can't lower it as low as you want to, and rear suspension was probably a uh, solid axle coil, but, or maybe even leaf springs, but I use semi trail on arm. Like I said, that you gotta get that right height looking where it should be. The horsepower and torque is probably about right about the right numbers of what it was back in you know that movie or whatever which was uh, 275 horsepower and 360 foot-pound torque it does have a cop motor a 440 cubic inch plant and the cc's is right 7206 cc's the boring stroke is close but I got the cc's right the, the bore is 4.3 one nine inches on the bore and on a stroke is 3.752 inches the v90 uh, it's a yeah v, it's a 90 degree v8 cast iron block and head with push rods uh, cast iron parts on internals compression ratio I just threw a number at it 6.3 to 1 cam profile 44 Uh, I put a four barrel carburetor, single configuration, single carburetor, carburetor I mean, uh, performance intake, regular lead at 87. It's a model made before Cadillac Verta, so it run, runs good on regular gas. 4700 RPM rev limit, I guess for reliability. Actually, I could push that further, but you know, it hurts performance, or, or maybe you get, I get valve float or something like that when I push it even further. Uh, fuel mixture is 15. It's really lean and ignition time 100. That's just the way I build cars. Short cast headers, dual exhaust, two inches on exhaust diameter, straight through. Uh, Boost was telling me something here. If you ignore the first muffling, it looks like to me it's about the same. Anyway, I got sidetracked there. It's got straight through pipes, no cat that converter. So let's listen to us, monster.
I don't know if anybody remember that scene where, or anybody watched that movie. Uh, it's a real popular movie. I, I recommend watching it. It's called the Blues Brothers. And there's a scene on there where they try to run over some Illinois Nazis, and this is about what it sounds like right here. And then when we get up to Nazis to go. That's pretty funny, they all start jumping off the bridge. Okay, it's a uh, rear wheel drive, three speed automatic. I guess at the rear end, I think it might have been about 335 or something like that. Sounds about right. Um, I put manual lockers on there on, on the differential. Radio sports compound. I kind of guess what the tire sizes was back, back on the Monaco. Of course, now they had cop tires, cop shocks, and a cop suspension. But uh, I put 205, 75, 14s, steel rims. Saw so, there's two pistons in the front. Probably wasn't made like that, but I did it anyway, just for not not to have brake fade and have some stopping power, which is 138.1 feet. From uh, 62 miles per hour to zero. Salt disc, one piston. 11 inches on the front and rear. Uh, pad top I put 100. It's probably for either brake fade or also to help a stop. Um, it's a six seater, standard interior, standard, I mean, basic AM radio. Hydraulic parent steering with advanced safety. safety. Progressive. Springs with gas mild tube dampeners and passive sway bars. It gets uh, does 138 miles per hour. Uh, don't know what the exact top speed was. I know that Dan Aykroyd, uh, Elwood Blues, was doing 120 down downtown Chicago, I think, but he was doing 120 miles per hour down there. A uh, quarter mile on 16.5 seconds, 0 to 62 in 8.94 seconds. It says approximate cost $17,000. I don't believe that. Uh, uh, that's a whole other topic. It's a whole debate. But I'm going to guess this was cost around maybe the actual price of this $10,600. Not back in 1974, but in today's money, if this car is made, I think. Uh, back in 1974, it's probably $5,300 or no, actually, probably less than that. I don't know. It's, uh, I know it was around that range. I don't know what the extra car got, but the way I got it set up, it gets 9.8 miles per gallon. I'd say it probably got more than that, but you know, it's just this game. Uh, 39.7 safety points. Uh, engine warranty is like 48 months, 48,000 miles. Reliable uh, bumper to bumper is 55 months or 55,000 miles. Uh, yeah. So, Let's go over the score with you. Okay, features. It's very outdated. Uh, it's only got a basic game radio, so I gave it a 1 out of 10. Acceleration was probably good at that time, but not good by today's standards, so a 2 out of 10. Safety was probably really good back then, but not good for today's standards. 3 out of 10. Economy, gave it a 2 out of 10. Engine warranty, I gave it a 5 out of 10. Uh, practicality, I gave it a um, 4 out of 10. Hold on, I'm missing number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
I'm missing a number out of this. What am I missing here? Oh, the 48 months. Hold on a second. Not a bumper to bumper warranty. Hold on. 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55. Save it out, Tim, for a bumper to bumper warranty. Okay, practicality, I gave it a 4 out of 10. Uh, value, I gave it a 10 out of 10. Importance, I don't feel like it's a very important car, but this one particularly is. But because it's mass produced, you know, it gets a 3 out of 10. Fun factor, I give it a 1 out of 10. With a total score of 38 out of 100. Which uh, which is 18th, and it ties with the 1974 Wall Rio National Edition and the 1974 Armory Motors Owens Supercar is one point above that and below its uh, 1965 Potomac Grand Grandissimo uh, with 36 points. So it, it may continue. I believe it will continue to drop down, but right now it's. 18th out of uh, 19 cars with a total of 26 being tested. So I'm going to get on the road.